when Don Carcos fought in 1942 during World War II. He was hit with shrapnel and blinded in his right eye. While working on a raceway, 64 years later, a horse headbutted him in the same spot, threw him against the wall, and he woke up the next day with his vision restored. Following the destruction of the Nova Kakovka Dam in Ukraine in June 2023, the skulls and bones of soldiers that died during World War II have been unearthed. After a bombing mission to Regensburg, Germany in 1943, the man operating the ball turret gun of this B-17 flying fortress was crushed to death when his plane was forced to the ground without landing gear. In September 1983, Soviet military officer Stanislav Petrov received a message that five nuclear missiles had been launched by the US and were heading to Moscow. He didn't launch a retaliatory strike, believing correctly that it was a false alarm. He saved the world from a nuclear war. This picture shows a Japanese soldier wading into the sea off Cape Endayaderi, New Guinea, with a grenade against his head moments before it goes off, defying an Australian soldier calling on him to surrender on December 18, 1942. During World War II, American soldier John R. Fox passed away when he deliberately called an artillery strike on himself. Realizing that German troops were overrunning his party's position, the strike delayed the enemy long enough for other American units to organize a counterattack. On the 11th of November, 1918, after the World War I, when the Treaty of Versailles was signed, French Marshal Ferdinand Foch said, This is not a peace, it is an armistice for 20 years. 20 years and 65 days later, World War II broke out. Lyudmila Mikhailovna Pavlichenko was a Soviet sniper in the Red Army during World War II. Her total of confirmed kills during World War II was 309, including those 36 Axis snipers, making her the most successful female sniper in recorded history. British mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turing is the man who cracked the Enigma code during World War II. He's estimated to have shortened the war by at least two years and to have saved 14 million lives. Despite his heroism, he was later charged for being a homosexual and forced to undergo chemical castration. Two years later, he offed himself by ingesting cyanide. After escaping from a POW camp during World War II, Australian soldier Robert Kerr McLaren removed his own appendix in the middle of a Philippine jungle. He did it without any anesthetic and only used a razor blade, mirror, and plant fibers for stitches. The operation took four and a half hours to perform and he made a full recovery. This is a photo of a Japanese boy waiting for his turn to cremate his little brother who passed away towards the end of World War II. When a guard told him to give him the load on his back, the boy replied, saying, It's not cargo, sir. It's my little brother. When Don Carcos fought in 1942 during World War II, he was hit with shrapnel and blinded in his right eye. While working on a raceway 64 years later, a horse head butted him in the same spot, threw him against the wall, and he woke up the next day with his vision restored. During World War II, a Nazi officer ordered his soldiers to hold their fire to allow for the rescue of an American soldier who stepped on a landmine. When no one came for help, the officer went to rescue the soldier but stepped on a landmine himself. During World War II, Pope Pius XII told the United States that he couldn't confirm reports that Germany was executing Jews. But in 2020, newly declassified documents revealed that he was lying and knew that the Holocaust was happening all along. Serial killer Leonardo Cianciulli offed women for human sacrifice and made them into soap and tea cakes, convinced that it would protect her son from dying in battle in World War II. John Madjack, Churchill, a British army officer 
who fought throughout the Second World War armed with a longbow, bagpipes, and a basket-hilted Scottish broadsword. He holds the last recorded kill with a bow and arrow in action. He was given his nickname after he held 42 German soldiers hostage while wielding a sword in occupied Norway during a 1941 raid. This image shows Mad Jack with a sword in his hand during a training exercise in Inverare, Scotland. During World War II, a remarkable event occurred when German Luftwaffe pilot Franz Stigler encountered the damaged aircraft of American pilot Charlie Brown. Stigler, who was tailing the plane, observed that the gunner was deceased, the crew was injured, and the plane was no longer a threat. Instead of shooting it down, Stigler chose to guide the plane to safety. The two pilots eventually met again 50 years later and formed a lasting friendship that endured until Stigler's passing in March 2008. Tragically, Brown also passed away just a few months later in November of the same year. This incredible footage shows the discovery of a downed Soviet Ilyushin Il-2 aircraft from World War II. Inside, remains are found, and soldiers on board are identified through various documents they had with them at the time of the crash. During the war, 36,183 units of the Il-2 were produced and it was given the nickname Flying Tank. During World War I, German soldiers used mules to transport supplies in gas-affected zones. Gas masks protected both soldiers and animals from chemical attacks. This illustrates the grim reality and ingenuity of warfare during the era, emphasizing the desperate measures taken to survive in hazardous environments. In 1919, in New York City, a pyramid of German helmets from World War I was erected as a symbol of victory and a fundraising effort for the war effort. The display aimed to commemorate the soldiers' sacrifice and rally support for the war's aftermath. The 1916 Allied bombardment on German lines during World War I saw a staggering number of shells fired in a single day. This intense artillery barrage aimed to weaken enemy defenses and pave the way for ground assaults, illustrating the brutal tactics of trench warfare. In 1942, Russian pilot Alexei Maresyev, despite losing both legs, crawled for 18 days behind enemy lines. After amputation, he defied odds, learned to walk and fly again. Cleared in 1943, he became a squadron leader, downing three German planes and earning hero of the Soviet Union in 86 missions. World War I bombs are turning up in big numbers due to heavy rainfall in Belgium. They can still explode over 100 years later. John Mad Jack Churchill, a British army officer who fought throughout the Second World War armed with a longbow, bagpipes, and a basket-hilted Scottish broadsword. He holds the last recorded kill with a bow and arrow in action. He was given his nickname after he held 42 German soldiers hostage while wielding a sword in occupied Norway during a 1941 raid. This image shows Mad Jack with a sword in his hand during a training exercise in Inverare, Scotland. This photo shows a couple sleeping in a Morrison shelter in case of bombing in World War II. The Morrison shelter was effectively a metal cage in which the occupants would lie until an air raid subsided. Often doubling as a kitchen table, Morrison shelters were supplied flat-packed for DIY assembly. World War II dentist Ben L. Salomon was shot 24 times while he bravely defended an aid station, killing 98 enemy attackers and saving wounded soldiers. Him being given a Medal of Honor was delayed due to regulations against medical officers in combat. This is the last image of Annika Ferry as she posed on a World War II bunker. Seconds later, she fell and hit her head. The 21-year-old suffered serious head injuries and her friend performed CPR on her until paramedics arrived. Crews treated her at the scene, but Ferry could not be revived. This picture shows a banquet for French soldiers who received grievous injuries during World War I.